Hello, my name is y o n g d o j e o n from k o n g j u National University. Uh, my topic uh, today is Oxygen Transfer Efficiency Evaluation of Underwater Bubbles. I'm going to go over some research background related uh, physical laws with brief introduction of important terminology and also the level of deserved oxygen concentration depending on the water grades followed by experimental work descriptions results are presented and analyzed by introducing a new definition to evaluate the efficiency of oxygen transfer through bubbling. Then the story will be concluded. Seasonal algae blooms in water resources such as rivers and lakes deteriorate the underwater ecosystem nationwide. Bubblers, aeration devices are frequently applied to supply oxygen to degraded water bodies. In the present study, a methodology to estimate the effectiveness of those devices is proposed and validated through a series of experiments. Some physical laws related to dissolved oxygen include Fick's law of diffusion, solubility, and Henry's law. In studying the behavior of dissolved oxygen contents, it is necessary to understand the relationship between partial pressure and the mole fraction. Also, in order to understand the practical range of DO concentration of concern in terms of water grades. The official DO concentration ranges are introduced. As specified in the water quality standards in the Ministry of Environment of Korean government, basically The fixed law of diffusion deals with the mass transfer when there exists concentration gradient. The law states that the mass flux due to diffusion is proportional to the concentration gradient and the proportionality constant is termed as diffusion coefficient. McGuinness and Little introduced a modified expression of Fick's law, which is to be used in the case of diffusion through bubbles, in which instead of using concentration gradient, they use the difference in concentration between the inside and outside of bubble. The needed properties of dissolved oxygen uh, mass transfer are provided by Professor Leader's group with additional information on the mass transfer coefficient and the bubble rising velocity. Assuming a constant air mass flow rate of Q supplied to generate bubbles of uniform diameter R, the number of generated bubbles can be calculated as follows. Also, the resulting bubble surface area can be calculated by that number of, uh, for that number of bubbles. According to the relationship, the surface area is inversely proportional to its radius, which means 
the radius as the radius of bubbles gets smaller and smaller higher mass diffusion is expected the total diffused mass is related to the mass transfer rate and resident time as shown in the equation also the resident time is dependent upon the depth of the bubbler and the rising velocity. Solubility is the property of solid, liquid, or gaseous chemical substance called solute to dissolve in a solid, liquid, or gaseous solvent. Henry's law states that the amount of dissolved gas in a liquid is proportional to its partial pressure, as shown in the equation. Here, H represents Henry's constant, and P sub I is the partial pressure of species I. In a real situation, when we measure uh, oxygen concentration through a device, we actually measure partial pressure of, for example, oxygen. The measured partial pressure divided by the already inscribed standard atmospheric pressure gives a reading of mole fraction based on volume. If we look at the water quality standard, one of the important factors that determines the grade of water is the dissolved oxygen level. For each grade, the corresponding range of dissolved oxygen level is specified. Based on this information, the DO level of 2.0, 5.0, 7.5 mg per liter is used to classify the water grades, which suggests a suitable range of DO level. For the experimental study, we designed a unique experimental setup featuring the capacity of cyclic degassing and aeration. The stainless steel cased water tank is sealed down to less than 0.1 atm with observing windows, with which we could successfully conduct a series of bubbling performance tests. For the present study, we first degas the dissolved gas by lowering down the head pressure down to 0.1 atm, which provides a lower DO level of 2.0 mg per liter or less, then provided air through a commercial double bubbler unit for aeration. Measurements are done using a DA100 Yokogawa data acquisition system which records dissolved oxygen level, temperature, and pressure, etc. Next, we present the test results of measured water DO as the bubbling aeration proceeds at predetermined mass flow rate. We have chosen two test condition parameters, that is, one is the air mass flow rate 
in terms of standard liter per minute that is applied through the bubblers. Another in is the depth of bubblers. For flow rates, 10, 20, and 30 SLPM are selected for uh, selected and for the bubbling depth of 0.4 meter and 0.8 meters are also selected. Figure 3 shows a typical measurement result. As can be seen from the figure, the DO level starting from 2 mg per liter, which is obtained through outgassing process, rises sharply and approaches asymptotically to about 8.5 mg per liter, which is close value to the equilibrium state with the standard atmosphere. It could be noticed that the rate of DO concentration increase is not linear with time or with a supplied air mass, which suggests that efficiency and or effectiveness of bubbling or aeration will depend on at what level of concentration it is defined. In order to de in order to answer this ambiguity, we suggest the use of concentration range in this study. Figure 4 shows the measurement results of DO for each test conditions. As can be seen from the figure, 1. The higher air flow rates, the faster DO concentration increases. The higher bubbling depth, the faster DO concentration increases. However, it is to be noticed that the DO development behavior is not linear with respect to time or equivalently to the supplied air mass. With this kind of raw results, it is difficult to compare the performance in a quantitative basis. So, in order to overcome this ambiguity in the discussion of the effectiveness or efficiency, we introduce a new definition of oxygen transfer efficiency of air with a specification of the range of concentration of concern. In the present study, we selected the range of 2.0 to 7.5 mg per liter as specified in the water quality standard of Korean government. Having defined the oxygen transfer efficiency of air with a specified concentration range, we could clearly compare the performance of bubbling aeration devices and process. According to the test range we performed, a consistent behavior could be obtained. 1. As the mass flow rate increases, even though the time required to improve the DO level to the desired one reduces, however, the efficiency decreases. 2. As the bubbling depth increases, again, even though the time required to improve the DO level to the desired one decreases, however, efficiency-wise, it is not Im improving. 3. The oxygen transfer efficiency is found to be 1.3 to 2.5 percent in the range of the present test conditions. 4. The highest efficiency is found to occur at 
0.8 meter depth and 10 uh, SLPM of mass flow rate. A quantitative evaluation method of oxygen transfer performance of aeration devices, including bubblers, is proposed. A new method and test apparatus featured by degassing aeration cycling is designed and built for this purpose and successfully demonstrated its validity through demonstration tests. In the present study results, with a sealed water tank of size 0.65 meter by 6.65 meter by 1 meter, and a commercial dual bubblers, it was found that the oxygen transfer efficiency range from 1.3 to 2.5 percent, depending upon the supplied air mass flow rates of 10, 20, and 30 SLPM at two bubbling depths of 0.4 meter and 0.8 meters respectively. With the present approach, the conditions for highest efficiency could successfully, successfully identified, which is of airflow rate of 10 SLPM and the bubbling depth of 0.8 meter in the present study case. Thank you very much for your kind attention.